Hi, Maggie the Realtor here again. And today I wanna to talk to you about taking advice from your friends when looking to buy a home. It's a bad idea. Friends mean well, and there's a lot they don't know. And what they don't know can hurt you. One condo owner, for example, took a friend's advice to withhold condo fees until some maintenance issues were addressed in her unit. But this gave the condo legal leverage against her and she was at risk of losing her condo altogether. Her friend didn't know what to do then and she was in a mighty fine pickle. That's when she called me in a panic. Having many years of experience, I was able to work some magic and it all worked out well. But there was unnecessary additional cost, legal fees, interest costs that her, my buyer, not her well-meaning friend had to cover. She nearly became homeless over her friend's well intentions, but ill-informed advice. Most of the time, friends share what worked for them or heard worked for someone else. The thing is that may have worked and been fine in that particular situation, but it's not necessary applicable in your situation. So that's why uh, take non-professional advice with a grain of salt. And if those friends will be instrumental in your choices, you have to make sure that they participate in all decisions and all meetings, showings and discussions. Otherwise, they end up impeding your buying process rather than helping it out. So if you're looking to buy a house, uh, give me a call, text me, message me. I'm always available. Have a beautiful day. Take care.